Have you seen the sky tonight? Did you, you know, we've had the clouds moving in, but they were thin enough. You could see the cirrus clouds there. They were thin enough. We could see the moon at the top, Jupiter in the middle, and there's Venus right down here. You see that? How cool is that? Look at this one right here. Here's another good one right here. Texas Frog Mama tweeted us this one. I like this. There we go. Here, I've got another one here for you. I have a couple for you. This is Jenny. Uh, Jenny, I can't make that out. You know who you are. There's the moon, there's Jupiter, there's Venus. Look, Joe's watching this. Look at this. This is better than sports, Joe. Look at this. Okay, so, so, so what's going on out there tonight? How often does this happen? Well, what's taking place or it's about to take place is a planetary conjunction. Cynthia was explaining this to me tonight. So a conjunction happens when two planets appear to be really close to each other in the night sky. There's Jupiter, there's Venus, there's the moon. The conjunction itself will technically happen on the night of March 1. And what exactly will happen on the night of March 1? Well, the, ali uh, the alignment creates this, this optical illusion that Venus and Jupiter are less than a, a moon's width apart. In reality, they're about 400 million miles away from each other, but there's the illusion that'll take place. How often does Jupiter and Venus, how often do they have this conjunction? Not very often. Only happens once every 24 years. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we have clear skies on the night of March 1 where we're all able to see this because I think when we're sky watching here in the state of Texas, things look pretty cool, and they certainly did tonight, and they did last night too. So